Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, just got the uh, e-bike kit in the mail and unwrapped it. So I just kind of want to show you guys what I've got in the box. And uh, there was only one thing so far that I noticed with like damage and things like that. That's the first thing I look for, uh, which is on the rim. Uh, you can probably see it just kind of right here a little bit. Um, it's actually kind of bent and kind of curled in. A little bit and there's a nick on the other side as well kind of like it it was dropped and it was hit something hard like that but I don't know if I can work that out or if it you know if it cracked the rim I know it's aluminum but it's uh, it's a good bend I don't know if I can really get that out of there um, and if it's actually gonna be worth it I mean it's a uh, it's a pretty good nick I'll let Sandy know uh, maybe she'll send me another, you know, just an actual rim to replace this rim and I can actually swap it out. It won't be a problem, but I'm going to let her know here shortly. Send her an email. Um, I've also got the uh, display that's going to be in miles per hour or kilometer per hour. And when you order a display, um, you've probably seen some of the controllers where the thumb throttle or twist throttle will have the LEDs. Well, if it has if it does have a display, it's not going to come with LEDs on the throttle controller. So, but if you don't have the, the display, it will come with LEDs to kind of give you like a light indication of where your batteries are at. Um, and then also I've got the controller for the hub as basically the brains of the operation. And it's actually pretty light. Um, I, I can a little bit in there as well, but that's, that's really nothing. Um, so yeah, it's, Pretty light. I can I can probably mount this under my seat, and um, hopefully I can get my batteries going pretty fast and see if everything works correctly. So, and I also got a seven-speed gear here, um, which I need to unwrap and take a look at. All right, guys, here it is: the kit and the bike that's going to get converted to the e-bike. Um, this is my old, uh, you know, six or seven-year-old uh, Moto Bocane Phantom Comp DS. Uh, it's a pretty good bike for what it is. Um, and here's the uh, the rim and the controller, the display, and the thumb throttle controller. Uh, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do about the rim, you know, with it being damaged the way it is. You know, I, I think I'm just going to go to the bike shop tomorrow and see if they have another e-bike uh, type of rim. Uh, I'm going to look them up and see if they're, you know, an e-bike bike shop. And uh, just see if I can find something that, that matches also what I have on my bike, which, you know, get rid of the flat, you know, silver part on the um, on the rim where it's for like the v-brakes or whatever I'll, well I don't have obviously have you know v-brakes I've got the the disc brakes on mine so just something that kind of matches what I have and see if I can also get some black spokes or you know if I can't get the black spokes just you know paint them like a flat black or something but definitely get that rim replaced I'm just I don't trust it so and I don't feel like you know shipping this entire kit back just to replace a, a cheap rim all right guys I just uh it's today's Sunday. I uh, spent most of the day yesterday trying to figure out if I can get a replacement rim for this guy, but <clears throat> unfortunately, the thickness of this rim is different than your average rim. Uh, I forgot what they called it, but it's really thick. It's like 30 something millimeters uh, thick, and uh, shops really don't have that in stock. It's gonna be like a special order or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get with the seller and see if they can either ship me out a new rim or send me some money back to where I can get this re-rimmed with new spokes uh, that's gonna match the new rim because these spokes are gonna be uh, just long enough to fit this really thick rim. And if I try and throw something on there like your average rim, I don't think these spokes are gonna be long enough to reach um, the nipples right here uh, and tighten up. So um, that's pretty much where I'm at. They said that this is unusable with this nick in it uh, right here. Uh, there's no way to work it out without the rim actually cracking. So this uh, this rim is scrap at this point, and it's unfortunate because I really wanted to get this thing going, you know, as soon as possible. It's going to be August here in a few days, and in Colorado, it, the summers are short. Okay, guys, I'm still working on the batteries. Uh, so far, I've got uh, three sets of ten, and I need 13 sets of ten. Uh, 
to finish up this first battery pack. And what I'm doing right now, I'm going through mainly these batteries right here. Um, this is basically the size of my battery that it's gonna be. It's gonna be 13, um, 13 cells deep and uh, 10 cells high. So uh, the 13 cells are gonna be on the balancing board. Um, so basically along the back row here, you've got 10 high, that's gonna be uh, basically cell one. Uh, the closest, or the furthest, the next set, sorry, the next set back here is gonna be cell two, three, four, all the way to cell 13 right here. And that's basically how my uh, BMS board is set up on the diagram, which will be easier to show you. So uh, basically you've got, focus, come on. So you've, you've got like cell one, two, three, four, all the way to 13 right here. So that's basically how this is set up. Um, you know, 13 and 10 high. Basically I'm going 10 deep uh, for amperage. So it's gonna be about a 20. Uh, I've calculated if I get, you know, the numbers that I've been getting now, I'm gonna get about a 27 amp hour battery pack out of this guy uh, using just these cells and the ones that I've, I've actually finished here. Because you can see, uh, these are actually three cell, three amp cells when new. And I've been getting about two thirds or better um, amp ratings off of these guys. So uh, I've still got quite a few to go through. Um, a lot of these batteries here are under two amp, uh, they're between one and two amp. I really don't want to touch those yet until I get through all these. These are when newer 2.8 amp each. Um, and some of those are pretty good, some of them are not, but we'll see what I can come up with. And I've got you know, these guys as well. I've got a few 3 amp in there hidden away somewhere, I just got to find them. And I've still got a whole box down here as well to go through. Um, but that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, I thought these were at two, 2 amp, but after looking at these again, I was a little suspect on these guys. And I think I was, I think I forgot that I was actually charging them and it equaled 2 amp instead of discharging. So I'm, I'm going to run another test on them uh, once this guy's done. And uh, this one here is actually doing pretty good. Uh, I've got three cells going right now, and it's already about 1,200 each on each cell. And I'm still, you know, pulling at one amp. I've still got plenty of uh, voltage left until it goes down to three. And yeah, so those are good. But yeah, that's where I'm at with the battery. Uh, it's Sunday, um, so this is just a uh, part of the update that I was uh, promising you guys.